Hello everyone and welcome to the Eva channel. My name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. Here you can find everything you need to learn English. Does this sound like you? Do you like the cake? Yeah, it's good. And the movie? Good. And what about my makeup? And don't dare say good. Stop saying it! Okay, use other words. If you're an English learner, then you might also be making this mistake. And today I'm gonna teach you 10 overused words. But actually, there are better alternatives that will make you sound more fluent. The first overused word that is good. 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 Good, 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 good. So instead of overusing good, try to think about an adjective that is more appropriate to that thing. For example, if it's food, use delicious. The food is so delicious here. If it's an activity or a movie, you can say it's fun, it's enjoyable, it's amazing, it's catchy, yeah, it gets your attention. Catchy, right? And if we're talking about other things, let's say makeup is flawless. Use these words that mean sometimes good and other times very, very good. Flawless. And just as good is overused, its opposite bad is also overused. Bad. Bad. Dead. So again, for food, instead of saying it's bad, you can say, well, it's not the best. <laughs> yeah. Not the best. You can use a positive for a negative. But if you really want to make yourself clear that you think this is really bad, you can say it's poor, it's poor quality. The quality of the transmission is very poor. And if it's really, really bad, you can say it's awful. You are awful. It's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Third overused word is yes. Do you want this? Yes. Do you do that? Yes. Can you come? Yes. 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 These are five other words that actually mean yes. So you can say, yup. Yep. Roger that. Yeah. 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 Affirmative. Affirmative. Absolutely. 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 Of course. Of course it does. Next on the list is interesting it's used a lot oh what do you like do you like this yeah it's good it's interesting 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 so you could say oh this painting is interesting this painting is fascinating this book is interesting this book is thought-provoking She's an interesting person. She's an inspiring person. Next word on this list is think. Think. So the word thing is overused and usually this might show that you don't really master English enough. So there are two ways of dealing with this. The first one is replacing it sometimes with stuff, which is thing, but it's uncountable. So you will say, I have many things to do, or you can say, yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do. I have a lot of stuff to do. So to avoid repetition, or a better way would be the following, to replace thing with the actual word. So let's say, for example, um, can you give me the thing? What thing? Um, that object and name it. Give me the book. <laughs> Next word is first. First. Well, first is the first word many people think of when they're making a list. First item on the list. So here are different words that you can replace first with. First, we didn't believe him. Initially, we didn't believe him. This is our first priority. This is our top priority. The first reason, the main reason, the principal reason. Well, the main reason is I need the money. And of course, we use the word important a lot. Yeah, because things are always important. This is important, that is important, important this, important that. Important? What's that mean? Impor Let's see a couple of more advanced words to replace it. 
So instead of saying, this is a very important meeting, you should say, this is a crucial meeting. This is a very important man. This is an influential man. My daughter is very important to me. My daughter is precious. Time is precious. The next word is new. New job, new house, new girlfriend, new channel. Let's see how we can replace that word. We could use, instead of saying new technology, we can say state of art technology when talking about your new phone. Yeah, state of art. There's a new agreement. The agreement, there's an updated agreement. And instead of saying this is a new process, you can say this is a modern process. Next, the verbs say is one of the most used verbs. And not because there are no alternatives, it's just because it's super basic, everybody knows it. Say you, say me, say it for always. So for example, instead of saying she said she was happy, you can say she expressed her happiness. They said I stole it. They claimed I stole it. The president said in his speech, the president stated, she always says that, she always repeats that. Our last word on this list is the word other. Other way, other way. When you are in a professional context, you might use it a lot. People always ask for other time, other suggestions, other opinion. Let's use these instead. You can say alternative time instead of other further suggestions instead of other, different opinion. And look at that. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope this has helped you level up your English and sound more fluent. In my next video, I am testing your speaking skills. I have a couple of emojis and I wanna see if you can guess what they are. So go ahead, click here and watch it now.